welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. I have a surprise for you today. I made an unplanned trip to Fabric Mart. Yes, in person, Fabric Mart. So I had no intention of going to Fabric Mart while I was here in Pennsylvania. I, my calendar was like super packed and busy. Well, on Friday, my plans fell through. I had plans to meet up with for lunch and um, happy hour after lunch with some friends from my old job, and that kind of fell through. So, and I knew this early in the day, like 10.30ish. And so, um, we had no other plans that day. So I asked my husband, it, first of all, Friday, actually Friday and today, Saturday, the weather has been perfection. It's in the 70s, the low 70s, the sun is shining. It is like the most perfect weather day. These are my these are my favorite days. So Friday, the weather was absolutely perfect. And my husband and I love going on joy rides. We love going on road trips. So I was like, I don't have anything else to do. And Fabric Mart is outside of Reading. It's only about an hour away. So I asked my husband, I'm like, Fabric Mart's kind of got a cult following in the sewing community. What do you say we drive up there so I can check it out and share my feedback with my friends? And he was like, sure, why not? So um, we drove up there. We didn't leave until probably 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, by the time we had eaten breakfast and run some errands that we had to run. So we left about 2.30. They close at 4.30, but it was an hour away, so that was still gonna give me an hour to shop, and I don't spend a ton of time shopping in stores, so I figured that would be plenty of time. So we get all the way up there. I had a little mishap with a lost wallet that freaked me out a little bit because, yeah, I had credit cards in there. I was less worried about those than I was my driver's license because all I could think was, how the hell am I gonna get on the plane? They're not gonna let me on the plane. I'm gonna have to hitchhike home. And then my husband found the wallet in the glove compartment. I don't even remember putting it in there. Crisis averted. Anyway, so then I go in the store and I'm just gonna walk you through like how the store was laid out. Um, I didn't get any help until I was there maybe 30 minutes. There was, um, they were busy. They had several, several people like shopping and getting fabric cut. And there was only one woman at the cutting table. Um, and after walking through the store a little bit, I did see there were like four, maybe five people in the back room that wasn't open to the public. It's back where they, I'm assuming, do their internet business. There were a lot of people back there, but they only had one person up front helping customers. So I'm going to say that they probably have a stronger internet business than they do retail. Um, and that's where they put their resources. Um, but that aside, let me walk you through the store. All right, so when you first walk in, um, to the left are the front windows of the store that you can see from the street. In front of those windows were three bins or three sections of fabric that were, they had, they were two-sided and they held bolts of fabric on both sides. That was $1 a yard. Yes, I said $1 a yard. All of those, so there are three sections, two-sided, $1 a yard. All right, then in the middle, all the way from pretty much the front all the way to the back were several sections of fabrics that were also two-sided, and those were all $3.99 a yard, all the way down the middle. And then you had the shelves along both side walls. So along the right side wall, along the left side wall, until you get to the cutting table. And those fabrics had um, codes on the end of the bolt, and you had to look the code up on the website to find out what the fabric content was and what the price was. Um, I didn't love that aspect of shopping there. I, you know, because having to pull up the website and key in the numbers and, I, I know it's not that big of a deal, but it was. I would rather just see the price and the fabric content on the bolt. That's just a personal preference. So, um, and on top of that, I think out of the fabrics that I was even halfway interested in, four out of, I'd say seven or maybe eight of them weren't even on the website and there was nobody around to help me um, to determine. So I just put them back on the shelf and um, 
I, I left them on the shelf. Um, they did have a lot of patterns, like behind the cutting table, they had a whole wall full of sewing patterns, paper patterns from different indie companies. They had a rack at the end of the cutting table that was full of patterns. And then they had a wall of notions and sewing tools. Um, but the majority of the store was definitely fabric. And um, I will tell you that in an overall sense, um, it's just not uh, my style. So a lot of dark colors, a lot of solids, a lot of fabrications that I'm not interested in. There was a lot of chiffon, there was some spandex, um, uh, just different fabrics that I, I don't know, I'm just not interested in. I didn't find a whole lot of rayons, um, a whole lot of wovens. There were some, um, but not as much as I would have been interested in. They did have some nice linens, but they were like $15 and up a yard. And I just don't need any bad enough to have spent that much. So I skipped on those, but I did find some fabrics that I think um, I will get use out of and they were really good deals. So I didn't go crazy. Um, it's funny because, um, you know, uh, one of my friends that I, I texted after was like, oh my God, you only got it out there with four pieces. You have a lot of willpower. And I, it really, for me personally, it didn't take willpower because they just didn't have fabrics that I'm interested in. I mean, you guys know me. I like bright colors. I like big, bold patterns and I like wovens and that's not their thing. Um, I get like they have a cult following. People love their really inexpensive fabrics. Um, but I don't want to buy fabric just because it's inexpensive if it's not something that I really think that I will get some wear out of. So I did find some and I do think that I will um, be able to make some basics with these and I'll be able to mix and match them with the things that I love. So let me jump into it. All right, um, let's start with the $1 a yard. I did get a $1 a yard fabric. So when I got to the table and I, and I had this fabric out there and it's from the $1 table, she said, um, in case you aren't aware, we have a finish the bolt sale going on right now, which meant that if you finished the bolt, instead of just getting the yardage that you asked for, it was half of the price for the whole thing, not just the extra yardage. So I was going to get two yards of this and the whole bolt was three and a half. And so two yards would have been $2. The three and a half yards, because it was half price, was $1.75. <laughs> so it's made complete sense to buy the whole bolt. Um, so what I got is this, um, let me see. so it's like an olive green, like a dark olive green, and it's a suede jersey. At least that's what she called it. It definitely feels suede. -ed. I don't know if it feels like a jersey or a spandex to me. Um, it's definitely a knit. It's got stretch this way. Ooh, that's really sheer. <laughs> All right, we'll figure out what to do with that. Um, it does have four-way stretch. This way is not as stretchy as this way, um, but I feel like I can get a good basic top to wear under like jump, you know, jumpsuits or um, just under jackets or things like that. So I just loved the texture of it. The suede finish just feels really neat. Um, so they still have some of this fabric. So I bought the end of this bolt, but there was a whole other full bolt on the rack. So if you think you might be interested in this, um, then I imagine it's on their sale website. I will look and if I see it on the website, I will link it below. But yeah, so I got three and a half yards of that for $1.75. All right, then the next rack that I went to was the $3.99. And I did find two fabrics on the $3.99 rack. One of them, I think my friend Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room will really like. It is, because her favorite color is blue. This is the blue and it is a knit. 
Um, but look at the texture, look at the um, lines on that. I just thought that was interesting. So this was $3.99 a yard. I got three yards. I did not finish the bolt because it had probably another three to four yards on it. And I just didn't need that much. So um, this has stretch, it's a two way stretch. It doesn't have it this way. Um, but yeah, I thought that could be a good basic top. I did get three yards, so I have well more than enough for a top. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'll make with that, but I thought that it could be good to wear under, you know, tops or jackets or whatever. All right, this next one was also on the $3.99 rack. And um, I don't know if this will surprise you guys or not. It's not bright colors, but it is bold. This is a black and white stripe. Um, I wanna say it's like a cotton poplin, but it's stretch. So it's a woven, a stretch woven, but it's cottony. I feel like it's a cotton poplin. Um, and I got three yards of this. Again, another one where the bolt was like another three or four yards and I just didn't need that much. Um, I feel like I will do some color blocking with this because it looked really good with, I can't remember what uh, top I had on at the time, but um, I like the idea of like a bright, bold floral mixed with a black and white stripe. I've seen those on Pinterest and I think it looks really cool. So I don't know that I would make a shirt only out of this, but I think color blocking it with a bright, bold floral um, could be really cool. Um, I don't know, I might make a top out of it. I'd have to see. Um, that could be like kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, not mind twister, spellbound, you know what I'm trying to say. I don't. Anyway, um, yeah, so that was three ninety nine dollars a yard, and I got three yards. And then this last fabric I actually got off of the shelf. So this was regular price, but still a pretty good deal. This was $5 and, I wanna say $5.20 a yard, and it's a knit. It's called cantaloupe, which is the perfect description for this color. And it's got this really neat texture to it. And this is a color that I absolutely love, this corally, orangey, peachy color. And this has stretched this way, but not this way. And it's got really good recovery. Um, and I got three yards of this, and this was $5.20, I think $5.20 a yard. So I got three, 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 three and a half. I got 12 and a half yards of fabric for $41 and change. Not bad. I know that a lot of you would have come out of there with a lot more and probably a lot more from the $1 rack, um, but uh, I just didn't see anything else that I liked. Like I said, I know that Fabric Mart has a cult following. I know you guys love them. Um, I think that um, the customer service that I experienced when I did shopping with them online was excellent. Um, I did have like a couple of pieces that they didn't have um, all the yardage that I had um, ordered and they contacted me before just shipping me the shortage. Um, and I, you know, I ended up taking it, but like the communication back and forth was very quick and very pleasant. So I do think that they have great customer service. By the time I got to the cutting desk, the woman was very friendly and knew what she was talking about with the fabrics. Um, it's just their selection isn't my taste. So, um, I won't be back there. Um, the, you know, I, it was, I'm happy that I went because it is such a like well-loved, um, fabric store. Um, and I don't feel like the drive was a waste of time. Um, I enjoyed my experience there, but, um, definitely not something that I will go back and do again. So, Tell me what your thoughts are on Fabric Mart. Do you love them? Have you bought a lot of your fabric from them? Do you, when you shop with them, do you only shop their sale prices or do you shop some of their regular price um, product? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, just keep in mind, these are just my thoughts and my experience and what I like in fabric. And in no way am I saying that Fabric Mart isn't a great place to shop. It's just not the right fit for me. So I would love to hear what your thoughts are and, um, yeah.
tell me what you think. Uh, wherever you are, I hope that the weather is as glorious as it is here in Pennsylvania again today, and I hope you're able to get some sewing in. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!